welcome back to my channel so today i'm gonna walk you through how much a 28 year old spends in a day in medellin colombia all right so you see me here doing my little dance this is me pouring my water so i buy this big bottle of water every weekend i buy a couple of bottles every weekend but this bottle you see me holding here will last me two days i spent eight thousand two hundred uh what uh, was it 8200 pesos on this bottle so i am going to divide it by two to give me around 4100 so bam 4100 for a water as you can see i'm thinking i don't remember what now i'm gonna take my medication i don't think this is medication i think this is just vitamin whatever the correct phrase is but i'm taking what is this i'm gonna take again i remember what i'm taking you know i take i think this is b6 b12 whatever it was name then i'm taking my vitamin c now i'm gonna tell you the total cost for the b6 b12 and the vitamin c it ran me around okay i'm not gonna lie i completely forgot how much it cost me <laughs> but it cost me around 733 colombian pesos for the um the b6 b12 i don't remember what it is and the vitamin c it's the cheap ass brand because y'all know how i am <laughs> this is me getting ready to go work out i work out almost every day um when i'm in medellin i like to uh just you know probably go walking but if i go walking i walk very far and if i go running i run up hills which there are plenty of in medellin so here you see me leaving my apartment um that's gonna run me about nine to six thousand six hundred and sixty six colombian pesos per day um by the way i hope you notice that i'm giving you the per day rates for everything <laughs> because of the title of the video now you see me outside uh this is me preparing my to go start my workout as you can see it's me in nature so it's free dot com which is listen music to my ears i love it that's one of the reasons why i love medellin so much i feel so safe the air is fresh there are plenty of hills for me to work on my badunka dunk that is amazing because y'all know your girl ain't got no badunka dunk <laughs> listen i need to i need to pick up this conversation with my mother because i don't understand how i've got hips i've got a small waist and for some reason she kind of forgot the badunka dunk but medellin is gonna fix that as you can see i'm on my walk I walk this route almost every day, um, not necessarily for exercise, but because, guys, the nature here is just, I'll find myself in between coaching sessions and I'll just pop out here because it is always like this, morning, noon, or night, well, not night, but it is always like this. This is me at the river. Yes, this is a river right outside of my apartment complex, and it sounds like a river too. Well, obviously, I know. But anyway, it sounds like a river. We love this. We love the serotonin. I found a park. Can you believe I've been living here for a month and a half and I did not know that there was a park, like five, a five minute walk from my apartment, that there was a whole park. Can you believe? Anyway, this is me leaving the park, going up the hill. Guys, I wish you could see how steep this hill is. Um, it looks flat. But I'm telling you, it is not flat. Even here, it looks like there's a little bit of an incline. Guys, you just have to trust me. It's not no little bit of an incline. Why you think I take out my phone and I record? Because look how the phone I move. It's hard. Guys, look. I ended up right full circle back on my apartment complex. It was too early. Um, I never got enough of a workout in. So I decided that I'm gonna just walk to my regular coffee shop. No, I never needed to buy coffee, but I needed exercise. So I decided to walk to my coffee shop. Plot twist, I came across all these pastries. <laughs> I came across all these pastries. I've tried most of these already, but I saw one that I've never tried before. And I decided I was gonna try it. That pastel de sal, I said I was gonna try it. So I couldn't really decide though, because I don't really like trying new things when it comes to food, when I know that there are things that I will definitely enjoy. But listen, I'm just like, I'm in my YOLO phase of life. And I don't want anybody to comment and tell me that choosing a new pastry is not yolo it's yolo for me okay it's yolo for me so here i am going to the, the cashier i ordered a coffee and that pastel de sal thing and as you can see my total bill here was 20 i think 20 000, 20 000 pesos i couldn't read it properly because i'm busy chatting with you guys but i think it was twenty thousand pesos so we're working with the twenty thousand pesos i tried my coffee my coffee's always banging bussing that thing that tastes horrible so i'm gonna stop talking now so anyway, as you see, 
have my coffee here. The thing I'm did buy, the thing I'm did buy the um the what name the, 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 the coffee shop, it was it never tastes good, none at all. So I just come back my yard, I'll make sure I carry the coffee, come back my yard. I have some bread. I got some plants. <laughs> So I'm going to eat some bread and plain to have for breakfast because that thing that I'm going to buy never tastes good. We never even finish it. That's never happened here. When it comes to pastry and bakeries, that's never happened here. I'm going to always finish it because it's like always so good. But, um, so, bread, fountain. Let's see what that cost is going to run us. Ooh. I'm going to put it up on here. Let me go to the fancy. Fancy. Today I don't have any coaching sessions today. I have two meetings today. Um, two meetings today, which they're gonna be pretty long meetings. Then I have some work to do. By the way, guys, let me just give you a little tip. If you are an entrepreneur, you need to craft out a day um, every week. The day, for me, the day isn't constant, but I craft out a day every week. To work on my craft and to like make myself a better coach a better entrepreneur so i may just be revisiting with the systems of my business see how i can improve or i may be learning new tricks and hacks to you know improve my business or to just make me a better coach so before i start get to what <laughs> this bread mm. This bread, this bread, mm -mm. ooh la la. Oh shit, my phone is Anybody else done to the food taste good? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This food be bussing bussing. Mm hmm Anyway, today is my day to work on my businesses and stuff. Um, but I also have two meetings. The first one is at eleven. So I need to go prepare for that soon. Um and by prepare I mean shower. <laughs> I just put on clothes because I'm not doing no makeup and not beating no face. Guys, so you know what I forgot to tell you? Hold on. You know what I forgot to tell you? In my last vlog, the or the days a day in the life of blah blah blah. You know what I forgot to tell you? I don't know how I forgot to tell you this. Oh, actually, I know how I forgot because I never had any footage of it, so I forgot to talk about it. Mister, guys. Remember that last place that I went and I showed it in my vlog, Envy, the, where the, the pool was and the bar and stuff and I said I stayed there until night and I saw Usain Bolt on my TV. Mm -hmm. So guys, let me set the seat. I don't know how I forgot this. is big excitement. Anyway, you ready for the excitement? Because I'm still shook. <laughs> I walk into the place. I was by myself, right? I see. If you look in the clip, again, you're going to see two people to the corner. There are the only other two people there. So the guy there is the guy who I'm talking about in this story. So I'm walking in with a bear and I went to go and sit down. Um, I was actually planning to just read on my phone because I spent something else I forgot to tell you guys in that live, in that video, is that I was actually live for like four hours on my Instagram. I went live while I was in the restaurant and live um, walking from the restaurant to Envy. So I spent so long live and if you know me, well, based on what I've been telling you, I'm actually an ambivert. So because I spent that much time socializing, like I needed to recharge. So I was actually just planning to stay, to go to NBA, to just read, have a drink, listen to the music, then go home. That's what I was planning to do. But my phone started dying and so I needed a charger. So it was logical for me to ask the guy if he had a charger. But I asked, did I ask in Spanish? I can't remember if I asked in Spanish, but essentially, whether Spanish or English, he picked up. He asked me, where are you from? So I told him I'm from Jamaica. He's like, ah, I'm from Jamaica too. So I'm like, wait, what? So he's like, 
but yeah but anyway are you that girl from youtube so i'm like no because guys i i don't think i'm a big youtuber that's the first thing i don't think i'm a big youtuber and second somebody may notice me in jamaica but definitely not in colombia are you mad so i'm like nah not that i was trying to lie i honestly just thought it could never be me so i was like no nah, not me then he's like he asked me what i do so i tell him he's like nah you're the girl from youtube and he pulled it up and he's like didn't you do this video and i'm like wait that's me oh my god that's me so yeah that was a very interesting moment what are the chances he's not from jamaica i mean he was born in jamaica no he was born in toronto i don't remember what his family he has jamaican heritage he doesn't live in jamaica though but yeah that was very very interesting i was telling you guys when i was back in jamaica i used to have to like have sense when i go on the road and i always have to dress like i like i'm sensible when i go on the road because i was noticing that more and more either my instagram or my youtube family listen my instagram family my instagram family <laughs> i have quite a few on, on on video they are not normal when they see me in public they don't go hi are you anna or hey anna i am they don't do that I'll be there walking and I just see somebody chop off on me. <laughs> Kid you not. Chop off, this happened, one, the first time it happened was in the middle of New Kingston. I was so shocked because I wasn't used to like any of this. I was so shocked. But I don't even know why I was shocked because that's how we are like on social media. So um, I'm walking in the middle of New Kingston. I think I may have had a Starbucks in my hand or I was going to Starbucks. And I felt this woman out of nowhere. Well, she never chucked off on me. She said, hi, Anna. And I was like, hey, Anna, she chuck off on me. And I don't know, since then, people have just been chucking off on me, even in the middle of the pandemic. But I mean, it's cool. So I said back in Jamaica, I have to like, you know, I can't go on the road looking like this, you know, like I have my yard closed. <laughs> I have to look sensible. But no, I come here and I'm like, I even think I made a whole vlog about this. It. Like, ain't nobody care. Like, I can just like walk, like look at me going out in the street. Now because of that one guy, I'm a bit like, oh my god, oh my god. Jokes, jokes. But that was that was very interesting. What are the chances? <laughs> Okay, so I need to go finish my work so I'm, I need I have a lot of work to do so I'm gonna go to the spot where I'm usually most productive um, I don't want to get dressed because I just can't bother this is literally how I've had all of my meetings so far but guess what this is me putting a twist on it <clears throat> so this is literally how I'm going on the road like you, you live on a side I ain't got no time I ain't got no energy okay I just need to get my ass get my butt in my uber and go to my place and get my work done okay cool i'm gonna tell you how much my uber costs in fact i'm ordering it right now <sighs> it's gonna cost me seven thousand eight hundred pesos government pesos i need to go he's one meter away i'm never ready <laughs> later I'm back! So this is my little spot. I go here like almost every day when I don't have coaching sessions. Um, I find that I'm super productive here. And look at the little doggy! He is so cute. He comes to the restaurant every single day along with that group of men. This is a salad I got. It's a salmon salad. I forgot what the title is on the board, but it, on the, the menu it's a, sal a salmon salad. So this is what I paid. Um, I had all of these things the other day, a cappuccino with almond milk, another coffee, a salad, and then the tip was included at 43,800 pesos. Okay, so I caught on Uber home, which ran me 12,600 Colombian pesos, bringing our total for the day to 178,832 Colombian pesos. The equivalent in Jamaican, 7,450. So this is food, transportation, and rent for the day. I know it sounds high, but remember rent per day, per day is included and transportation. And I will say 
by the way i hope you notice that i've been replaying the same footage camera on other footage i'm gonna need to talk to <laughs> but essentially when i need to focus i have to go into i have to go to that restaurant which is in el poblado and el poblado is not very close to where i live so the transportation cost is gonna be pretty high plus i mean i'm at a, a restaurant in el, el poblado so the cost is gonna be pretty high so but as a rule of thumb for myself i don't usually spend more than fifty thousand Colombian pesos on a given day so if i'm home coaching or i'm at my office coaching my bill is probably going to be half this amount so i just wanted but i wanted to give you a realistic you know view and this is what it is okay bye